Alright guys, Kifeisty3 here, and today, as I'm recording this, it is 11.45pm, yes I know, uh, the 5th of January, and I will be doing my official PS3 collection for January 2014, now once a year I do a full collection, showing you all my PS3 games, my accessories, as well as my PSN titles, PS1, PS2 classics, and um, yeah, I do this once a year uh, for January, and then for the rest of the year, I'll just do stuff like collection updates and stuff like that. So um, once a year, I'll give you my full collection, and then for the rest of the year, just like I'll, I'll pick up one or two games on this. So accelerate cinema. But anyway, uh, without further ado, let's get started. Now I may actually talk about some of the games, but. I'm not really like, I'm not going to spend like five minutes just talking about each and every single game because I've got so many to go through. Um, but I'm going to change it around and I'm going to going to start off by showing you my accessories first, then my PS1, PS2 classics, etc. And then afterwards I will do my PS3 games. So uh, let's actually get on with uh, the accessories first of all. So I've got them all laid out on my... Um, just to show you what I have to go through. So there's all my games just scattered out on the floor there. Tripod. Uh, these are all my accessories I'm going to go through. So we're going to start over here. So here's my Guitar Hero drum kit. There's nothing really to say about it. And there's my broken kick pedal for rock bands. I don't know why I still have that. Uh, move over here. We've got my Tony Hawk's Ride. A skateboard controller which I hardly use I've only used this either twice three times and um, I forgot to say most, some of the games that I have in my collection I will be selling on eBay soon so I will do a video on like when those games are up on eBay so you can start um, bidding and apologies for most of you guys that are living in the US I'm only sending to those who live in the UK, so I do apologise, because it's the first time I'm actually sending stuff on eBay, so, yeah, um, apologies for you guys, I know the PS3 is region 3, but, you know, but anyway, that's uh, my Tony Rich Ride skateboard, over here we've got my DJ Hero 2 controller, in the box, uh, this actually came with DJ Hero 1 game, in DJ Hero 2 game, which I was surprised when I got it. Over here I've got my Rock Band 3 keyboard controller, which I got off eBay uh, back in 2011. Uh, I've only used it from time to time, just learning it. I really have to get back onto uh, Rock Band soon. And there's my Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock controller, all in the box as well. Over here we've got my Rock Band drum kit. Um, I don't have the Symbols expansion pack um, because you need to have like two of these ports so one for your kit pedal and one for the cymbals I don't have that so if I were to have a drum kit with the cymbals I'd have to buy a new drum kit with the cymbals so I have to stick with whatever I've got for now and because of that broken kit pedal I got a new one off eBay um, you know when that broke so there's that new kit pedal I think I did an unboxing of that so um, that's on my channel somewhere and I'm going to go through this now. There's my PS Move controllers. Got two motion controllers, and there's my navigation controller. Got a spare USB cable for my controller, so whenever I need to charge it, I've got an extra one. Got a microphone. I've actually got two extra ones of these, but I can't be asked to show you them because they're pretty much the same. This is pretty much for rock band. I've got another one for rock band and Guitar Hero. There's my receiver, my dongle USB for uh, my Guitar Hero drum kit, USB for my Tony Hawk's Ride controller. Uh, this this is just another one. So if I do play Guitar Hero or Rock Band, I got one for my guitar, my drums, my microphone, etc. So that's pretty handy. And I got one for my Rock Band guitar. And got two extra controllers. Uh, this one I use mostly, as you can see, that's on. And I've got another, got another one here. 
and over here uh, I've got my rock band guitar now you're probably wondering to yourself oh you've got two not really because this one uh, not really important this one is for the Nintendo Wii can't really see it down there but this one is for the PS3 so yeah because when I got my guitar and rock band stuff I got it for the Wii and then when I got my PS3 I des I decided to get rid of my guitar and rock band stuff for the Nintendo Wii and get it all for the PS3 which I know it was crazy but there we have it and finally for my other music type games there's my focus there's my guitar for when I play uh, Rocksmith I only play this from time to time I'm still learning guitar there you go and over here uh, to show you the console this is my 120 gig PS3 which I've had for four years I've owned a PS3 since December 25th 2009 if you can believe it and there's my headset and there's another USB you know to charge up my controller and now we're going to go through my um, PSN titles etc now there is one game which is not on this list because it is 11 gigabyte to install and I don't have much memory just to quickly show you and to prove uh, that game was Mass Effect it was 11 gig to install and that's how much memory I got on my PS3 the uh, free space so yeah so I really have to free up some space if I want to play Mass Effect so, uh, so here are you don't have to worry about demos because I will do demo videos uh, you know soon so first of all I'm going to go through all my games so first off we've got Buzz Quiz Player and I got Rush and, Cl and Clank Quest for Booty. Um, I was meant to get the disc version. I won it off eBay, and thanks to the stupid seller, uh, yes, he he's going to give me a refund for the game because there was some mix-up, which I'm not going to re-explain. Uh, explain for five minutes. Next up, I've got Dead Nation, which uh, I got for free, as well as Rush and Clank. I got for free when uh, PSN was. Uh, back online after their hacking in 2011 and they've got episodes 1 to 5 of Back to the Future I know you can get the retail version which I am looking at on eBay now I've got Blue Toad Murder Files The Mysteries of Little Riddle now I've only got episode 1 so yeah apologies next I've got Dead Space Extraction obviously this is from a Dead Space to limited edition uh, it came with like um, you know the space extraction next we've got Tekken Tag Tournament HD really love that game when it was on the PS2 used to play it a lot next we've got Jet Set Radio HD one of my favourite games of all time on the Dreamcast next up we've got Limbo which I got for absolutely free when I had Playstation Plus which I don't have and finally I've got The Walking Dead, so I've only got episode 1 so yeah now I'm going to go through my minis and PS1 PS2 classics uh, first off I've got Resident Evil Director's Cut Rayman Crash Bandicoot 3, Warped Crash Bandicoot 2, Quartet Strikes Back Pool Shark 2 Crash Bandicoot Pandemonium Silent Hill Resident Evil 2 Resident Evil 3 Cool Borders 2 Monopoly This is the only PS Mini Well the Mini I have Pull Shot 2 is the only PS2 classic I have uh, we've got Tekken 2 and finally we've got Disney Pixar's Toy Story Racer so that is all my games I have on the you know on my PS3 digital downloads 
But like I said, Mass Effect, 11 gig install. Um, but I don't have much memory to install it. So yeah, that's why it's not on my PS3 yet. So now finally, we're gonna go through all of my PS3 games. And I know there's gonna be pretty much of a nightmare, to be quite honest. Um, I don't know where to start really, so I'm probably gonna start. Um, I seriously don't know where to start. I think I'm gonna start from here. Start from the back here. Um, some of these you have seen in the collection update a few weeks ago. Um, but yeah, let's just let's just get on to the games because I've got so many to go through. Just want this video over and done with. I'm already 10 minutes through, so um, actually, just to uh, make sure that my uh, battery doesn't die, I'm just going to quickly uh, the charger in my camera here. If I can get the charger in, do apologize, guys, should have charged it when I first recorded the video. Here we go, charges in, and uh, we're going to start right now with all my PS3 games. So first of all, let's start with Deus Ex Human Revolution, uh, got, got this recently on eBay, haven't started it yet. Max Payne 3, another one which I got off eBay, uh, not started it yet. Uh, Warhammer 40k Space Marine also got it off eBay. I've only played uh, a quarter of the game. Uh, God of War Collection, which comes with God of War 1 and God of War 2, which I have not even started yet. Got this a few months back. God of War 3. Saints Row 2. Saints Row 3, the full package, uh, which comes with... Uh, well, includes three mission packs and over 30 bonus weapons and outfits on the disc, um, which I've not even started yet. That's why you can see all these stickers and such on it. But it does include um, Genki Bowl 7, Gangsters in Space, and Trouble the Clones. And like I said, the um, bonus weapons and outfits. Next I've got Where the Wild Things Are, the video game, which I uh, recently got off eBay uh, a few days ago. Uh, I've almost platinumed the game, so there you go, just bought it out of the blue. So, um, that's hole number one, I'll just quickly put these back here. And just say these are in no particular order, I'm not that kind of person that does my games in like alphabetical order. So, yeah. Okay, um, no, I really don't know where to start, to be quite honest with you. Um, let's move these out of the way. I do apologise. Okay, let's start with this pile. Okay, so first up, we have Prince of Persia. Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands, Assassin's Creed 1, Platinum, Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, which I've hardly played, I've only played a couple minutes of this, Mirror's Edge, Little Big Planet, Ratchet and Clank, A Crack in Time. Resistance Fallen Man, which I've hardly played. Resistance 2, same goes, you know, uh, same for Resistance Fallen Man, hardly played. Modern Nation Racers, I only played a couple minutes of this, pretty enjoyable. Uh, the Darkness, hardly played this, but I will get back into it at some point. Killzone 2, I'm going to complete this once. The Godfather 2, hardly play. I might actually sell this because there's no point for me 
keeping it in the collection. Brutal Legends. Definitely have to get back into this game. Naughty Bear. Wolfenstein. Definitely have to get back into. U Star 2. Um, I might actually plan on selling this because there's no point having this now. Then we've got iPad, which I forgot to show you. I do have the PSI, and uh, I did actually download the movie edition on the, on the store, but I don't have it on my PS3 now because, you know, I've already platinum this game, and yeah, I will be selling this. iPad and Friends, just bought it, you know, bought it for the lols, and I've uh, hardly played it, so that's staying in my collection. Right, now to move this somewhere. Right. Um, start with the next pile. Now we've got uh, Splatter House. Saw. Grand Theft Auto 4. Aliens vs Predator Red Faction Armageddon Red Faction Gorilla Haven't even played yet I've got something else right uh, Burnout Paradise Okay, uh, might as well do this in order uh, I've got Call of Duty 3 Uh, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. Call of Duty World at War. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And we've got Call of Duty Black Ops. And we've got uh, Kane Lynch Dead Men. Kane Lynch 2 Dog Days, the limited edition. The House of the Dead Overkill Extended Cut, which includes uh, two 3D glasses. Home Front. Lollipop Chainsaw. Yakuza 3, which includes bonus enhanced CD soundtrack with a guide to who's who in the world of Yakuza and Four pieces of unlockable content. I've only completed this once. I really want to get back into this. Now we've got Dead Space 1. And Dead Space 2, limited edition, like I said. Includes um, Dead Space Extraction. Which obviously is on the, my PS3. Move these out of the way here. Just want to quickly check how many minutes through. Okay. Right. Next we have Rock Band. Rock Band 2, which I had to end up getting from eBay because uh, it was hard to find in my area. So I had to get it off eBay. Rock Band 3, again, got it off eBay because my store rarely had it when I purchased it. The Beatles Rock Band, Lego Rock Band, Green Day Rock Band, DJ Hero, DJ Hero 2. Uncharted Drake's Fortune, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception, which playing with the season pass, Need for Speed Shift, Need for Speed Hoppy Suit, which I hardly played, Need for Speed Undercover. 
Mortal Kombat vs DC Universe. Mortal Kombat, the complete edition, which includes uh, Kratos as a playable character. This also includes four additional characters and 15 skins. Heavy Rain, which will just complete the playthrough off. The Last of Us, which comes with a season pass. Beyond Two Souls, which I'm currently playing. Really like this a lot. Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix, which I have not played yet. Let's move this part away. Right. Next up, we got Catherine, which I've only completed once. Really tricky game. Wet. Silent Hill HD Collection. I've played half of Silent Hill 2, but I really have to get back into this. But I might actually start Silent Hill 2 again from the beginning because I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. So if I play it again from where I last saved, I have no idea what I was doing. So I might as well play it again from the beginning. I've got Tekken Hybrid, which includes Tekken Tag Tournament HD, which you just saw on my PS3. Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Prologue, which is on this disc. And Tekken Blood Vengeance, which is the um, CGI movie. So there you go. Final Fantasy XIII, had this in my collection for over a year now and I haven't even played it yet but I really want to get Final Fantasy XIII uh, 2 first before I start playing this. Gran Turismo 5, which I have not played yet, I got this last year, if you can believe it, and I've not even played it yet. Okay. Next I have Def Jam Rap Star. Just Dance 3, still got the uh, sticker on it. Just Dance 4. Uh, I am planning to sell these three games. We got Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. And Lego Harry Potter Years 1 to 4. I am planning to get uh, Years 5 to 7. As well as some other Lego games, which is Lego Harry Potter Year 1 and 4 is the only Lego game I played. So, alright, um, next up we have, start with these, we've got uh, Vin Diesel's Wheelman, Virtual Fighter 5, which I might actually plan on selling, Condemned 2, another one which I might plan to sell. Super Street Fighter 4, Dark Sector, haven't even played it, Soul Calibur 4, then we've got Infamous, do plan to get Infamous 2, Dead Rising 2 off the record, and the original Dead Rising 2 in which I have the Zombrex edition which includes of course the game uh, you got a DVD of the making of Dead Rising 2 which obviously terrors reality and you get this Zombrex auto injector pen so there you go and we've got um, Skate Skate 2 and Skate 3. Right. Let's move these out of the way first. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Right, we've got uh, Bioshock, which I've only completed once. 
by a shot two. I've only played quarter of the game, which obviously we really have to get back into. Fear. Fear two, which I've only completed once. Do plan to get fear three. Singularity. I think I've played quarter of the game. The Saboteur. Really like to get back into this. Beowulf. Might actually sell this. Blur. Blade Storm the Hundred Years War. Uh, one of them which I might plan to sell. Not even played it yet, but I'll give it a go. Ninja Guide and Sigma. Uh, which, again, do plan to sell. Fallout 3. Uh, I've only played a quarter of the game. Didn't really interest me. I'll give this another go, but who knows? I might actually plan on selling this. Uh, Fallout New Vegas. Do again another one which is on my list on what I plan to sell. Haven't even played it. Same goes with uh, Fallout 3 because obviously I didn't really have any interest in the uh, the series. Now we've got um, Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots, which is the tactical espionage action. Um, haven't I've rarely played this, and I know there's uh, trophies, which you know it's all good and all, but Metal Gear is not my kind of game. So I do apologise for those Metal Gear fans. We've got Medal of Honor Tier 1 Edition, which includes Medal of Honor Frontline and the Battlefield 3 Beta. Which, again, I've not even played uh, Medal of Honor Frontline. So, just to let you know, guys know. We've got Enemy Territory Quake Wars, which I do plan to sell. Motorstorm. Motorstorm Pacific Rift, I do plan to get Motorstorm Apocalypse. UFC Undisputed 2009. UFC Undisputed 2010. Duke Nukem Forever. Let's actually move these. We've got Devil May Cry 4, this is the uh, Steelbook edition. Battlefield Bad Company. Battlefield Bad Company 2. Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection. Uh, Genji Days of the Blade. I've uh, not even played this, but I do actually plan to sell it. TV Superstars. Another one which I plan to sell. Start the party. I uh, really want to platinum this game and then sell it because that one trophy in this game is ridiculously hard. But I do actually want to platinum this game and then after I've platinum it, I'll sell it. Uh, just to quickly check, okay. Uh, the shoot might actually sell this as well. The fight, I just got it, and then after that, I said, screw this. I really, I just, uh, uh, sorry, um, I got it, I did actually see trailers for it, and um, as soon as I played it, I was like, yeah, this game is not for me, so I will actually sell this. We've got Michael Jackson Experience, which I have platinum this game, and I actually plan to sell this. We've got Terminator Salvation, which again I also plan to sell. I would like to do a play through this and then sell it, so who knows. Got Ridge Racer 7, which I also plan to sell. Got Juice 2, Hot Import Nights, uh, again, do plan to sell. We've got Formula 1 2010, again, uh, just bought it. Played it for a couple of minutes and then I said, no, this game is not for me. So, who knows? Might actually sell this. Tony Hawk's Rides. Uh, like I said, I already play, uh, I already used my uh, skateboard controller, so I might actually sell this. Along with Tony Hawk's Shred. 
Then we've got Dark Siders. Uh, played a quarter of the game. Then after that, I was like, uh, this game is not for me. So that's kind of that's pretty much why I'm not really going to get Dark Siders two. Because like I said, this game really wasn't my type of game. Next up, we've got Haze, which I also plan to sell. Then we've got The Born Conspiracy. Really like this game a lot. Then we've got John Woo Presents Stranglehold, another one which I enjoy. I'll just move these out of the way. Okay. Then we only lost a lot of games. So we've got Guitar Hero 3. Legends of Rock, Guitar Hero Aerosmith, Guitar Hero World Tour, Guitar Hero Metallica, Guitar Hero Greatest Hits, or for those who are in the US, I believe it's called Smash Hits, Band Hero, Guitar Hero 5, Guitar Hero Van Halen and Guitar Hero Worlds of Rock. Pretty much got every single Guitar Hero game on the PS3. Next up, we've got TNA Impact, uh, which I bought it hardly, I've not even played it. I got this a few years back and I haven't even played it, so kind of ridiculous for me to have it in the collection, but you know. We've got WWE Legends of WrestleMania, really enjoy this a lot. We've got WWE All Stars, uh, which includes bonus content with the million dollar pack. Uh, I do actually plan to sell this because I do actually want to actually get the uh, J Japanese import. Because, you know, seeing because I've already platinum this game, you can actually buy the Japanese import, which includes trophies in which you can get the platinum for the Japanese version as well as this. So, I do actually plan to get the Japanese import. Then we've got Smackdown vs Raw 2008. I pretty much played this for the PS2, but I thought, you know, I'll upgrade it to the PS3. Smackdown vs Raw 2009. Whoops. Smackdown vs Raw 2010. I do actually want to go back into this and actually uh, platinum this. Smackdown vs Raw 2011. There's one more trophy for me for me to get. Uh, well, I just haven't bothered to get back into it yet, so I'll actually get back to this soon and actually get that last trophy. Next up, we've got WWE 12. WWE 13, which obviously I do plan to get the platinum for this, but that stupid highest rank trophy is a pain in the ass. We've got Resident Evil 5. Resident Evil 6, which I haven't even played. And the last couple of games we've got here is uh, Rocksmith, which includes the real tone cable. Now, I did actually say in the previous video, uh, I did get Rocksmith 2014 for Christmas, but I had a problem with it, which I did a video on, and um, I got it changed over twice, and it still didn't work from PS3, so I said screw it. I'll work my money back and I'll try and buy Rocksmith 2014 something else. So I've only got Rocksmith, uh, the original Rocksmith, so I don't have 2014 now in my collection. And finally, for this collection, I'll save the best for last because I enjoy this game a lot. We have WWE 2K14, in which I did an unboxing of, I actually got the uh, Phenom Edition. Which includes, I'll just read the back here. So, this includes the exclusive tin coffin, got exclusive collectible art card, personally autographed by The Undertaker, exclusive Undertaker in game ring entrance, which is the American Badass, um, exclusive Undertaker in game attire, American Badass, like, like I said, Undertaker themed controller skin, which I haven't even used the controller skin. Got WWE Undertaker The Streak, uh, which is only disc one, so you don't get the uh, free disc set, it's just disc one. 
uh, and you get access to WWE 2K14 Global Pre-Order Offer, uh, which you get the playable character, so you can get to play as Ultimate Warrior, and obviously you get your WWE 2K14 game. And that is my PS3 collection. We are officially done. That is my collection for January 2014. Hope you enjoyed. I know this was pretty long. 35 or 35 minutes through. Yes. So uh, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed this collection. Like I said, I will be doing collection updates and I'll keep you guys informed on when I will start put in the uh, games I plan to sell on eBay um, like I said about the trophies if you do want a trophy collection video um, I will actually do one for you guys so just let me know if you want, if you want me to do a trophy collection video um, I will actually do it from time to time I haven't done it in a while the last time I did a trophy collection video was back in 2011 and then after that it's just you know, I just haven't even bothered to do one. So if you guys want a PS3 trophy collection video, then I will actually do one. Okay, so that is my PS3 collection for January 2014. I hope you enjoyed. That's all I've really got to say. Um, obviously, I will do collection updates from time to time whenever I get new games. So that is it, guys. KidVicey3 signing off. Thanks for watching the uh, PS3 collection update. I know I said that a few times, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you for more videos. See ya.